let's consider an element in one dimension. So we have an element in one dimension where the position of node 1 is xa and the position is of node 2 is xb. And we're going to deform the element, but we're going to do a special kind of, de of de deformation, and that's just a rigid body translation, right? So I'm just going to translate this element. by a constant. So now I have xA plus C zero and xB plus C zero. Okay. So this implies that U at node one is equal to remember U in this in this setting is a displacement, right? So I displaced node 1 by C0. So U1 is C0. And also U2 is C0. And therefore, you know, our approximation UH is also just C0, right? Just translated it. Well, let's look at what, so we know that the approximation u of h is equal to c0, and that is equal to nj uj, so we have n1 u1 plus n2 u2, and that's equal to n1, plugging in our values, c0 plus n2 c0, right? So let's divide by c0. And we have 1 equals n1 plus n2. And this is known as a partition of unity. <clears throat> this is a property that the shape functions will have. And that we can see that if we um, go back to the back to the shape functions that we just derived here, if I just add them all up, so I'm just going to say total. Let me see, one. So the summation of all the shape functions will always add to one. And shape functions also have what's called a Kronecker delta property. And that is that Ni evaluated at the node j will be 0 if i not equal to j, and 1 if. So this is the Kronecker delta property. And the reason is it has the same form as the Kronecker delta function, right? So, you know, so if i equal to j, then you have one, otherwise zero. So I think we'll stop there. Next time, we'll develop the full finite element formulation for an arbitrary kind of model equation in one dimension and demonstrate how it reduces to basically a, an algebraic equation that we saw, okay? And then we'll do it again in two dimensions and I'll talk a little bit about how to develop shape functions in two dimensions. And then we'll start putting some physics in, write some code, solve some problems, all right? So, uh, Again, the, if you came in late, your tests and homework three are here. I will post the solution of the test later today. I'll also post the first 
homework assignment on the finite so homework four, but it'll be related to the finite element stuff or rich stuff that we've been talking about.